Hello there and welcome to another video. As I said in yesterday's video, today we will be looking at my dream CMF line for the Star Wars theme. Now, of course, a load of people would sit here and say they want 16 clones or 12 named clones or however many clones, droids. Usually it'd be someone you want duplicates of. But as we've seen with Lego, they don't really do this in CMF lines. In fact, it sort of defies the point because you're meant to want to collect a certain character. Usually they have their own names, their own ideas. And whilst you can go look at my Marvel CMF video where I use the pieces to create other characters and you can do that with a CMF. It's sort of the other fun part of using the pieces to make other figures, which I will be doing with Series 25. So you will have to wait a little bit for that. But eventually this month I will get a video out the other figures you can make with the series 25 pieces i don't think we'll see a cmf soon but if we did get one these are the figures i would have wanted i've actually gone year by year and decided based on what was happening that year in star wars what character i'd like to see in that slot so we're starting off with 2009 we're actually going all the way up till 2024 which there's not been any Star Wars content besides the Battle Pack and the Fire Spray. So I am looking forward to all the shows coming out. But let's get straight into it with 2009. 2009 saw the second season of Clone Wars. In fact, I'm pretty sure Clone Wars started in 2008 and then sort of trickled over to 2009. As I said in my video, 2007 we got the movie, 2008 we got the first season, so now I guess 2009 makes sense for the second season. Towards the end of the second season of Clone Wars, we got Death Trap, which is where a young Boba Fett tries to kill Mace Windu and avenge his father, Jango Fett, who did die to Mace Windu's lightsaber in Attack of the Clones. And I think that would have been the perfect figure to get here. Again, a youngling cadet for the clones it does make sense for a cmf you can use pretty much the rest of the figure besides the head and hair and even just mix up the heads and hairs with other minifigures to make other clone cadets and it would have been great to have seen boba in this costume it's sort of the alternative to the young boba we got in attack of the clones we've seen a minifigure of that and the omega minifigure if you were to cross both of them and get a Boba Cadet minifigure that would have been amazing to see and that's going to take up the first slot of the CMF so you can sort of see how we're working out the minifigures here and I'm afraid the first few are Clone Wars in fact I'm not afraid to say the first few are Clone Wars there's some of the better minifigures on this and towards the end there are some unbelievable minifigures that I honestly cannot believe we haven't got in Lego form already so straight on to number two kicking off season three in 2010 clone cadets if you're a big clone wars fan you know what's coming here because i'd have loved to have seen a domino squad minifigure not only just a domino squad minifigure but back in 2010 lego weren't making arm printing so we wouldn't have got a number on there we could have just got five of the same domino squad figure but i think to be fair i probably would have preferred someone like droid bay cut up or heavy as they didn't really live long enough to get an arc trooper figure like echo and five so hopefully we get to see at least echo and fives in lego soon there is a rumor of a fives figure which stay tuned to the end of the month i'll cover all rumors and releases and there are so many rumors from this year just from january alone so it's gonna be a massive video you will not want to miss subscribe and turn on notifications so you know when that video is going live but it will most likely go live the last Tuesday of the month, as with the last however many we've done here on the channel. And I think the Domino Squad just sort of fits in Season 3. I mean, all seasons of Clone Wars, we get so many figures introduced. And it is a little surprising we didn't get a Domino Squad battle pack. But I guess they would have had to chosen one of the characters to leave out. So perhaps that's why we never got one. But moving on to 2011, we then have Season 4 of the Clone Wars. Mercy mission with R2 and 3PO going on this spiritual mission just to get the planet of Aline's communications back up. I think the perfect character from the wolf pack here who was sent with R2 and 3PO is a phase 2 wolf. We have not seen a phase 2 wolf yet. We've seen a phase 1. We've seen wolf from rebels but we haven't seen a phase 2. And we've even got this character design that you can see on screen for one of the lego i think castaway games or something along the lines of that so really lego do need to release another they did use the old wolf pack minifigure 
for their Fortnite Lego skin, which I was hoping to at least get the Castaway ones, but as that's only a wolf design, hopefully we get that minifigure sometime soon. So that is the third minifigure in this CMF. I'll put all images up on the screen at the end of the characters I'd like to see in my CMF, just in case you're not following along as well as you'd like and want to see all these characters in a bundle as there are characters from completely different ends of the Star Wars universe. And sticking with Clone Wars, Saw Gerrera. Alright, so 2012 bought in Season 5 and I think it pretty much kicked off with the Andoran Rebels trying to kick back the Separatists. And there's a whole fling between Ahsoka and I think it's Lux Bonteri or one of the other young ex-Separatists, which is a great storyline. But I can't believe we haven't got a Saw Gerrera in LEGO yet. Not only has he popped up in Clone Wars, he's also popped up in Rogue One. He's pretty much the only minifigure we didn't see in LEGO form from Rogue One. So it only makes sense to include him here. And it would be a Clone Wars Saw Gerrera. He even showed up in Fallen Order. And technically the only Fallen Order character we've got in LEGO form is BD. But we'll get onto that a little bit later. So it'd be great to see a Saw Gerrera. 2013... We've got the Lawless. It's a very emotional episode where Obi-Wan is lured back to Mandalore by Maul. And Maul ends up, ultimately, spoiler alert, if you haven't got to Season 5 of Clone Wars. This is Season 5, Episode 16. Maul ends up killing the Duchess in front of Kenobi. Satine cries. She's the minifigure for this slot. Again, a very emotional scene. But we don't have a Satine in Lego. I think it would be great to... Even for some anniversary of Clone Wars, get a few more Clone Wars characters, Saw Gerrera, Satine, and some of the named clones we see. Because there are so many opportunities of a Kamino set, we can get more Kaminoans, as we only recently got the first physical Kaminoan in the Kenobi ship, which... There are just so many Clone Wars figures that we haven't got. I mean, the battle packs are selling, they're flying off the shelves, so if we got some other named characters in sets... People might not be going into Lego stores and picking up five of them like the Battle Packs, but they'll definitely be selling quite nicely. And on to the final Clone Wars figure. For now, we do see the return of Clone Wars, which might be a return of a Clone Wars figure later on. But Season 6, The Lost Missions, come out in 2014. Disney had already bought Star Wars at this point and actually leads up quite nicely to The Force Awakens. But... At the end of the Lost Missions, we have Yoda travelling with the Wheels of the Force, trying to pass his test, trying to stop Dooku and Palpatine, sort of discovering the hidden truth of the Force. And But during these missions, before I get too distracted, Yoda faces a dark version of himself. Now again... There's a rumoured Millennium Falcon for this year which comes with a bunch of dark characters. They sort of flip them, we get some dark side good guys and we even are meant to be getting Vader's light side sort of white suit that we get in one of the comics. But we will touch on that again at the end of the month because I think getting a dark side Yoda, especially in the style they did it in Clone Wars, not the Clone Wars figure but the actual animation that they used on screen would be amazing and Honestly, from Season 6, there are so many different. We could have even got the sort of volcano -y Darth Bane minifigure, which looks like a Pyroville from Doctor Who, if you are a fan of that show as well. But Dark Side Yoda just makes sense. It's sort of the pinnacle of him finding his balance with the Force, and it's right before he goes on to become a Force Ghost. Ultimately, we could have even got a Force Ghost Qui-Gon or someone else from that same scene towards the end, but I think the best minifigure to get is this Dark Side Yoda. Now, we're out of the Clone Wars minifigures for a brief moment because we will be returning, but Star Wars The Force Awakens was the big movie from Disney. I'm pretty sure it's probably the biggest Star Wars movie. It was so much hype going into that movie, going into the cinema. I personally watched it three times. In fact, I think Rogue One and The Last Jedi I even watched twice in cinema. You just couldn't get enough of it. There was no Disney Plus at the time, so you just had to keep going to the cinema. And then by the time of Rise of Skywalker, we knew it'd be on Disney Plus in a few months, so we just waited around to see it again. But The Force Awakens was massive. There's no debate in that, really. Whether you like it, whether you hate it, no matter your view on the sequels, The Force Awakens massive. One massive character from it that I guess doesn't exactly share the spotlight, Nine Num, also showed up in Return of the Jedi. He was in the Aftermath novels, he was also in The Force Awakens, The Last Jedi, The Rise of Skull, Battlefront 2, and many, many more. 
If you go on his Wikipedia page, which is a play on Wikipedia, if you don't know, there is a Wikipedia site which has everything you need to know about Star Wars. It lists just all the comics, all the books. There are just so many of them. I don't even have them all on screen. You have to scroll for a few minutes. But he's been in a lot of material and we have no minifigures. I've checked Bricklink. I didn't even believe Bricklink at first. So I checked a few other sites. We have a 10 num, but we don't have a 9 num, which I think is amazing they've managed to miss out on that character so much he did show up at the end with lando in return of the jedi and i think getting a set similar to the comic-con exclusive solo set of the cockpit with lando in han's outfit and also nine nun would just be an amazing set i really am a fan of that style and it's a shame they haven't bought it back yet but it could show up in a diorama form in the future so i'm looking forward to whatever lego's got in store for the next few years but i really think we need a nine num just slipped in there somewhere especially with last year with the return of the jedi we could have got a lando falcon with a few more of the figures we were missing from the end of that movie but the following year 2016 rogue one released we pretty much got all of the characters besides one from that movie now of course i already had saw guerrera in the clone wars set so it could have been him but i'd already sort of filled that clone wars gap with him the other figure we didn't get was a Galen Erso minifigure. We got Krennic, we got Jin, we got pretty much the rest of the gang, but no Galen Erso. Even in Krennic Shuttle, it would have been amazing to have slipped Galen Erso, and people could have just customized the Galen Erso uniform to be some other officers that were brought to his attention. But Galen Erso is another minifigure they missed, and I can't believe they did it. We got so many minifigures, just knock out one of the many Shore Troopers we got across like three of the sets, I think. And whacking a Galen Erso, it would have made so much sense. But as they missed him out, he does take up a slot in this Star Wars CMF. And now we move on to The Last Jedi, which is a very controversial movie. Some characters it does well, some it doesn't. And we actually go to Crate for this. We could have gone with Crate Luke. We didn't get that minifigure. It's a good battle against Kylo. But instead, I think the Crate Leia would be a more desired minifigure. The outfit looks amazing. It's actually the last time we see Carrie Fisher portraying the character while she was alive. It would have been a great minifigure to include perhaps in a Crate Duel anniversary set in a few years time. I mean, it came out in 2017. So in about 2027, if we get a diorama with Luke, Kylo, and then perhaps the other side of the diorama, we can have Leia standing beneath the door as we see in one of the most iconic scenes of the movie. It's a great wallpaper if you're interested. But Crate Leia takes up another slot. And now we move on to Solo. We are on a run of movies here. We've had Clone Wars up to Force Awakens, Rogue One, Last Jedi, now Solo. It's actually the last run of movies. We will go to the games in a second. As I mentioned, Fallen Order earlier. But for Solo, we got a few of the droids from the Kessel Planet. All these slave droids. And ironically, didn't get the droid that was fighting for their freedom. L337. The only droids we got from the whole solo wave, in fact, were the two slave droids on Kessel, which came with the Millennium Falcon. I would have been more than happy to get an L3 instead of one of them droids. I didn't end up picking up the Falcon anyway, and there were some good sets in that wave that I did miss out on. But I think not including L337 is... I mean, that's one thing, but including two of the slave droids instead, this droid would have paired amazing with the Falcon, with them uploading their memory banks into the Falcon in the movie. It made so much sense, but I guess it probably wasn't the easiest for them to create. Unlike what they did with Hyang and made him into a minifigure, I think just a normal droid body in white and a custom head mould would have done more than enough for this character, and at least we would have got him in some form, but... They didn't give us an L3, so again, taking up another slot in the CMF. Now, as I said, we go to Fallen Order for the next one. We've got BD1, Saw Gerrera's already popped up, and I'm not really sure what other characters there are that they could be doing besides Cal Kestis. We still haven't got a Cal Kestis now. Again, arguably, he is meant to be released this year. I tried to stay away from the minifigures that we might be getting in the near future, but... Lego have officially not said anything about Cal Kestis. It does seem a bit strange that they'd suddenly put out a game minifigure though. We do have this Revin polybag they did a few years ago. So who knows what is actually possible. 
But not only was he in Fallen Order, he also come back for a second game, Jedi Survivor. And arguably there's meant to be a third game sort of on and off development at the minute. I'd like to see a costume from Fallen Order, especially to go with the giant BD that I actually have built just in the back here, as you can see. It's crazy we don't have a Cal Kestis. The game was so popular. The second game even was quite popular. Now, I haven't quite got round to playing the second game yet, but I do have it downloaded. So if that's something you'd be interested to see, perhaps on a second channel, or perhaps I'll try and do a stream of it at some point, do let me know in the comments. So, of course, we are going to stick to the LEGO videos day to day. Now, after Fallen Order came out in 2019, we go to 2020, where we got the return of the Clone Wars. I do believe America might have got this a bit early. They might have got this the end of 2019. But over here in the UK, we got it February of 2020. And of course, second episode, a distant Echo had them tracking Echo signal to Wat Tambor's facility, where not only they saw a ton of droids, and there were some specialized droids that I'd love to get in Lego, but we also saw Wat Tambor, and we haven't got a Wat Tambor Lego minifigure. He did show up in Attack of the Clones and played quite a big role in the Clone Wars. I mean, he had a whole droid facility with one of the ARC troopers that was key earlier on in the show, just tied up and sort of turned into a half droid himself, where he had more of a data bank that was enabling the Separatists to learn all the other clone tactics and towards the end of the war actually gave them the upper hand against the clones it's a great storyline again if you haven't watched any of these then definitely check them out they're all on disney plus except for fallen order which is a game which is also a great storyline but you can probably catch all the cutscenes here on youtube but what tambor is a great minifigure that we really need to get especially with the dress pieces they've come out with he'd probably need somewhat of a custom molded head though Really, a green head with the eyes printed on would also do a good job. Now, that is up to 2020. We're on to 2021. Book of Boba Fett, again, another debatable show, depending on which side of the fan base you sit. I really loved it. And one of the characters we got from that show that we haven't got in Lego form, we've got Boba, we've got Fennec, we've got Bib Fortuna even, and we've got Mando. Bib only showed up in a post credit scene. And we don't have a Crescenton minifigure. Getting Santo in Lego would be amazing. It's not only another Wookiee. And I do have a few different custom Wookiees lined up on here. I think we've only really got a few different Chewbacca's. A few general Wookiees from the prequels. And we've also got the Chief. Which I am mind blanking and cannot remember his name. But we also got the Chief. that It was very close with Yoda. And sort of saw him off at the end with Chewbacca. Which would make a great diorama i think we should also get a holiday special chewy in the red robes we can also get the red sort of jacketed wookie from knights of the old republic there are so many minifigures we could get in the chewbacca form and chris Annan is one of them we really need a santo minifigure i mean he's just an awesome looking wookie and he's a bit darker he's a bounty hunter one of the only bounty hunters we haven't actually got Looking for this list, I was looking through all the other bounty hunters that show up in Clone Wars. So many of them we've got minifigures of. Even when Kenobi went in disguise, we've got a few of the minifigures from that episode. So it'd be nice to see Santo in minifigure form. And that brings us over to Andor, which does have a Lego set. I mean, it included Andor, Luthan and Cyril, which was the officer from the show. But... Getting them three minifigures in quite an expensive, I think it was a £90 set, which is sort of the same as the Marvel set, the Humpty, that we got also last year. So it's not been the most popular, but perhaps they're not expecting and or the Marvels to be as popular as something like Clone Wars and an Avengers movie, which honestly, they're not wrong. It's not going to be as popular, but I still think they could have included at least a few more minifigures in them, if not just made them a bit more of an accessible set. And for Andor, just make a few more sets. Season 2's coming out. I'm not quite sure where the Marvel leads. I'm waiting for that to come Disney Plus as well. Like Wish, I know. I'm not going to see them in cinema. But when you pay so much for Disney Plus, there's not really any advantage to go into the cinema because you still pay in the Disney Plus contract. So hopefully we do see a few more sets for Andor Season 2. But the character I really want to see and that's made it to the CMF, which is the whole point of it. I'm getting very distracted. B2 Emo. We've seen Andor 
we haven't seen Andor's sidekick. He spends so much of the show next to Andor, and even when he's not next to Andor, he's planning some sort of mischief, as a droid tends to do, and is trying to help out all the other characters. I think B2 Emo is definitely someone we need in some sort of brick form, because the other characters we can mock out. B2 Emo as a droid really needs his own mould, or perhaps a specially moulded piece like we see over in Minecraft, because... You just can't make him compact with Lego bricks. And on to Mando Season 3. Season 1, Season 2, I'm pretty sure we got most of the characters we could need. There are definitely a few that we could have used, but to be fair, we have sort of been able to mock them out, especially the different named Mandos. So we're actually going over to the pilots that show up. Keller and Beck was going to be the figure for this slot, but he is already rumoured for this year and has been rumoured for so long. Dr Pershing could have shown up, Ragnar Vizsla, Carson Teva, but the pilot I chose is Trapper Wolf. Of course, Filoni's done so much for Star Wars, it makes sense to get a minifigure, even if it's the May 4th special this year, just to get some sort of minifigure. So he's gone in the CMF and actually on to 2024. Trapper Wolf was last year's minifigure, this year George Lucas, it could be Papa Nidia, but I think just a general George Lucas, he did create the show, a Papa Nidia would be really cool, but he's the man behind it all, and there are many other people in the works, Lucas didn't do this alone, we've also got Kathleen Kennedy, who is sort of keeping it going as it is, and stopping it all falling apart sometimes, but we've also got many more shows on the horizon. We've got The Acolyte, Skeleton Crew, Andor Season 2, Bad Batch Season 3, Tales of the Jedi Season 2, Young Jedi Adventures and more just coming out this year. And none of it would have been possible without Lucas's idea in the first place. So really, we need some sort of Lucas minifigure. The same goes for Marvel getting a Stan Lee minifigure. There are some problem with the rights around it. They can't just make a minifigure that looks like her man sell it profit off them without giving some back the same issue was had with the kevin feige minifigure in the avengers tower they had to of course pass so much to the rights of his appearance and everything but i really would love to see a george lucas minifigure perhaps we could go with Papa Nemoidia here just to get over the rights of the actual minifigure but i'd love to see all these minifigures we definitely need a nine nam we definitely should have got a galen and an l3 as well for solo and rogue one but there are some minifigures I hope we get in the future. Saw Guerrera definitely needs a minifigure. And I'd love to see some more Phase 2 clone commanders and captains like Wolf. And even a few others that we need an updated minifigure for. As LEGO haven't made them in a while. So I hope you enjoyed this minifigure. Here are all the characters that I have spoken about in today's video on screen for you now. And do drop a like if you like them. Let me know down in the comments which minifigures you would change as... Of course, this isn't a perfect CMF, and as I said, there were a few alternatives, but let me know your 16 characters in the comments, or even just a handful you'd like to see in LEGO in the future. And don't forget to subscribe for more awesome LEGO content still to come. The year is only young, so as always, may the bricks be with you.